kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on news app using retrofit in Android Studio. All right. So, guys, uh, in this video, uh, as you can see that in my previous part of the video, we had created the project, and now without wasting any time, we will start our uh, coding for our project. So, first of all. there is you need to specify the user permission so this is the first step of creating any project okay so since we will be using the retrofit so we need the internet uh, permission and after this you need we need to have some uh, dependencies here we need to add them okay so the first thing is you must use the butternife library because it gives you the way of uh, not to use the find view by id and all that stuff all right so uh, in all of uh, in all of my projects i always use this library so in order to use the library we need to integrate it first of all so we will add the dependency for it so for the dependency we can you can simply say implementation and inside that we can say com dot you you just uh, need to follow me whatever i am typing so you can have 8.5.1 and then we can say annotation processor and it will also be the same button knife dash compiler and it will be also be 8.5.1 okay so i always use this version of this button knife okay guys so one of my subscriber had uh, uh, told me that the font is very small so we cannot see it so let me make the font a little big so you need to go to your appearance and then from here let me see where Here it's twenty four, so we can say twenty six or twenty eight. We apply okay. Okay, so that was not the use the custom font, and this should be eighteen. Okay, so it is a uh, very big. so we need to use 14 and yes and now first of all i think that is it does not affect it so we can we don't uh, need to use let me see it should be 20 or 16 okay so here first of all we need to add the button knife library since we have already added so the another thing which we want to do inside our project is we need to have some other um, dependencies for it so let me show that to you so first of all we will use the swipe library and this library is very beautiful and efficient for swiping the view so you can see we will be using this and uh, for this we can just copy it and we need to paste it here but instead of this compile we need to use the implementation okay guys so after this we need to have some other dependencies so you need to go to your project structure and you need to go to app then we can click on dependencies and first of all we need to use the secular view so we need to have the the secular view dependency 
but if you are uh, using the android x if you want to if you wish to use the android x so you don't uh, need to include this and uh, you don't uh, need to do whatever i am doing here all right since i am not uh, using the android x i am still on api sdk 28 so i am i don't need to do the recyclers okay so there you can see this is the recyclers view dependency then we also need to uh, add the card view dependency for it and then we can use the material design so we can say spur design and yes these are the three libraries which we need to integrate to our project okay so after it is successfully added now we need to uh, add the dependency for the retrofit library so for that we can simply let's just copy the implementation and write com dot scare up dot retrofit to retrofit to point four point zero and then we can use another thing implementation com dot scare up dot retrofit to and we can use the converter slash json and 2.4.0 then we need to use the json we will implement it with the retrofit to so for this we can use com dot google dot code dot json slash json and the version will be 2.8.5 all right so after this we also we can also integrate or uh, the picasso library which is used for image processing i mean for uh, for uh, displaying the image efficiently inside our application so there we can say com dot scare up dot Picasso. Picasso and it will be 2.71828 and after this we will be using the Kanban view so for the Kanban view so we can find it inside here so you just need to open this Kanban view inside this Google, and we need to use the. Okay, so there you can see, we will be using this inside our uh, application because it is it provides an extension to our image view. Okay, but I don't think that we will we will be requiring this, but let's add it. And we will see if we could use it. okay so i think uh, many libraries are integrated so let's click on sync now L let me give you a recap of the dependencies that we added we added the first of all the butter knife and then we added the swipe stack mm -hmm. library then we added the these three things which are required for the uh, for our app uh, and uh, those are the recycler view, card view, uh, and then we have the material design library. Then we use the retrofit dependency, we added them, and finally we added the Picasso and the Kanban view. So we clicked on sync now, and our project is successfully synchronized. So, yes, here, uh, first of all, we need to go to our main activity because when we open the app, so this main activity will be opened here so inside this main activity we will only have the recycler view and this swipe refresh layout so for this we can simply say instead of this constraint layout we need to use the swipe refresh layout and then inside this instead of this 
test view we can simply use the recycler view and we can set it to match parent and match parent and let's set the id to recycler view main activity okay then we just copy it and we need to go to our main activity and here we can write bind view by id r dot id dot this and we can specify the recycler view and there you go okay so we have this recycler view then i think we also need to have the swipe reflect layout so for this swipe reflect layout we can set the id to swipe reflect and we can just copy it and we can simply say bind view by id r dot id dot swipe reflect layout swipe reflect layout and uh, after this we can say button knife dot bind and we can pass this okay so this is the way of integrating the uh, button knife library inside our android application so guys i think that is enough for this video if you guys like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye